Hello and welcome to this update on how to graph Excel data. This is for my AP College Biology students that I'm making this video to help them in their first lab so that they can learn how to analyze and manipulate data using spreadsheets. Now I'm most familiar with Excel, but I'm doing this update for those who are using Excel online. So here's our class data all combined, all compiled. I'm going to open it up in Excel online. So again, it looks a little different, but I just copied and pasted the data. Okay, and so then I've summarized down here and I've already calculated the averages and the standard deviations. The difficulty people seem to be having is preparing the graphs. So let's do that now. I'm gonna highlight left hand and right hand. Uh, let me adjust the row so it makes it easier to see things. So you can, again, hover over a row or a column and expand it to see things better. So I'm going to highlight left and right hand, hold the uh, left mouse button, click and hold while dragging to highlight both the titles and the average times. Then I'm going to go up to insert, and over here is the charts. So I'm going to insert a column chart, and there's all these options here for the column chart. However, I, I can't show the standard deviations as error bars on these differently if, if both columns are in the same color it's it's treating them as one category in regular Excel you can just right click on it and select switch row and column I can't find that here so I'm going to go up to the search bar and type switch row column if you can't find something try searching in the search bar but notice it's also over here on, on the uh, heading bar so I'm going to go ahead and click that now I have two different colored columns, which means it's treating it as two different categories. And it even has the labels down here for them. Now to add the error bars, I can double click on one of the columns. And one of the choices is vertical error bars. So I'm going to turn that button on. And then the, this changes to a drop down arrow to select different things. Well, I, I need to select an, an amount for the error. I already know the error amount. It's going to be this number over here, uh, 31. So I want to say a fixed value. And then I can just type in that value, 31. It's going to be in both above the average and below the average. So plus and minus. So I'll select both. And there's my error bar. And I'll double click on this one. Go to my vertical error bar. So turn that button on. Again, I'm going to take a fixed value. This time the value is 29. So I'll type that instead and hit enter. And there's my error bar for that column. And then it's just a matter of you can click on the chart title. See how I'm up here and I'm at home instead of having all of my options. So if I click on chart, it gives me my options up here so I can go up to chart title. I, I have mine displayed above the chart. I can edit it here. Or I can just double click on it here, change the chart title. Something like that. And then I need a, a axis title for my vertical axis. So it's again up here at the top under the chart tools. Most of the things are still there. It's just in Excel online. They're in different places. It's hard to find. I want it rotated. So I'll put time and then in parentheses MS for milliseconds. And that's how I want my title to appear. So there's the first graph. So hopefully that helps you to see quickly how to use Excel online versus regular Excel. Some of the things are in different places. And I would suggest if you can't find something, you're like, I, I just can't see where it is, go up to the search bar, try searching for it, and it uh, may show up, give you some help on that. So good luck, and I hope this helped you out.